Michael Stone is from Toronto. He is an author uh, of some incredible books. One is Yoga for a World Out of Balance, and uh, another one is Awake in the World. And he's been in multiple Occupy movements around North America, uh, Santa Fe, New York, Toronto, Montreal, and now here in Vancouver. And I think uh, we'll all appreciate the perspective he brings. One thing he would like to do, though, is use the human mic for this particular uh, talk dialogue with you. So if everybody could come on in, Michael will be just over here, and that way we can all get together. And he will share with us. Thank you. So please come in closer. Closer, closer, closer. The next stage of this movement is going to be is going to be how we deal with conflict. How we deal with conflict. Internal conflict. Internal conflict. And the repression. And the repression will certainly come. Will certainly come when the people in these buildings. When the people in these buildings. And the police. And the police become uptight. Become uptight. So first of all, so first of all, this is not a protest. This is not a protest. One thing I've learned, one thing I've learned in this process, in this process, that this is not a protest. This is not a protest. This is a movement. This is a movement. It's hard for the media, it's hard for the media to articulate, to articulate what this movement is, what this movement is, because we don't have demand. Because we don't have demand. But this is not true. But this is not true. Movements don't operate with demand. Movements don't operate with demand. Movements operate with process. Movements operate with process. Instead of making demand, instead of making demand, that will be negotiated. That will be negotiated for years, for years, with elected politicians, with elected politicians, which we've already tried, which we've already tried for years. Years. Elected politicians. Elected politicians. We're trying to demonstrate our values. We're trying to demonstrate our values. And articulate. And articulate something much bigger than demands. Something much bigger than demands. We're failing. We're, we're failing. In our culture. In our culture. From a lack of imagination. From a lack of imagination. And what we're achieving here. And what we're achieving here. Space. Space for imagination. For imagination. This is not just a revolution. This is not just a revolution. It's a collective movement. It's a collective movement to collectively pull. To collectively pull a handbrake. A handbrake. An emergency brake. An emergency brake. This capitalist. This capitalist growth-based economy, growth-based economy can only survive. Can only survive with growth. With growth at three percent a year. At three percent a year. That means in twenty-four years. That means in twenty-four years. The size of this economy. The size of this economy. Double. Double. Our waterways. Our waterways. Our fish. Our fish. Our forests. Our forests. Our young people. Our young people can't tolerate that kind of growth. Can't tolerate that kind of growth. So this is a crisis of growth. So this is a crisis of growth. And the shadow side of our economic system. And the shadow side of our economic system is 
ecological degradation. Is the ecological degradation. And this is a movement. And this is a movement. Because it's diverse. Because it's diverse. In order to be diverse. In order to be diverse. We have to communicate. We have to communicate. With people outside. With people outside. And beyond. And beyond. What we know. What we know. We have to communicate with those we don't know. We, we have, have to communicate with those we don't know. We have to listen. We, we have, have to listen. listen. This takes compassion. This, this takes, takes compassion. And imagination. And imagination. imagination. Compassion is hard work. Compassion is hard work. But it's the work worth doing. But it's, it's the work worth doing. Listening is hard work. Listening is hard work. But it's the work worth doing. But it's the work worth doing. So this Occupy movement. So this Occupy movement has to learn, has to learn to listen to other views, to listen to other views, in order to cultivate, in order to cultivate imagination again, imagination again. This movement is going to win. This, this movement, movement is going to win because it's not hierarchical. Because it's not hierarchical. You can't meet hierarchy. You can't meet hierarchy. With hierarchy. With hierarchy. You have to meet hierarchy. You have, you have to meet hierarchy with creativity. With creativity. The enemy of creativity. The enemy of creativity is anger. Is anger. When you're angry. When you're angry. You're not creative. You're not creative. Because you think you're right. Because you think you're right. And you think they're wrong. And you think they're wrong. The one percent. The one percent. Do not deserve. Do not deserve. Our hatred. Our hatred. They deserve. They deserve. Our compassion. Our compassion. Our hatred. Our hatred. Will burn us out. Will burn us out. So what we've achieved so far. So what we've achieved so far is a space. Is a space where we're slowing down. Where we're slowing down. It's too early to make demands. It's too early to make demands. Instead, we have to stop. Instead, we have to stop and wait. And wait for our imagination. For our imagination. Collectively. Collectively. To come together. To come together. To articulate. To articulate a way of living. A way of living based on the values. Based on the values of interdependence, of interdependence, of compassion, of compassion, of diversity, of diversity, not anger, not anger. When you're angry, when you're angry, don't do anything, don't do anything, don't, do anything. don't say anything, don't, don't say anything. Go for a walk, go for a walk. Find your breath, find your breath. Practice yoga, practice yoga. If you're not into yoga, if you're not into yoga, have a beer, have a beer. Find your breath, find your Brad, but don't do anything. But don't do anything. Find out how you feel. Find out how you feel. And underneath what you feel. And underneath what you feel. Is creativity. Is creativity. But don't put up. But don't put up. The invisible. The invisible. Idealistic. Idealistic. Gandhi shield. Gandhi shield. Which, when it's philosophical, which when, when it's philosophical, it's nothing done. It is nothing done. Anger is not bad. Anger is not bad. So you need to take the momentum of your anger. So you need to take the momentum of your anger. Because the momentum of anger. Because the momentum of anger. Get things done. Get things done. But it only works. And it only works if it's merged with creativity. If it's merged with creativity. So we need the momentum of anger. So we need the momentum of anger. Because the next stage of this movement. Because the next stage of this movement is going to be demonstrating. It's going to be demonstrating how when we when we meet when we meet viewpoints. Viewpoints opposed to our viewpoint. Opposed to our viewpoint. Anger arises. Anger arises. And we need to show. And we need to show. That we can meet that anger. That we can meet that anger. And opposing viewpoints. And opposing viewpoints. With creativity. With creativity. And that creativity. And that creativity. Is going to show. Is going to show our values. Our values. This isn't about making demands. This isn't about making demands. It's creating a space. It's creating a space. For imagination. For imagination. And we've accomplished that. And we've accomplished that. Yesterday evening. Yesterday evening. I was here. I was here. When a young woman died. When a young woman died. This is tragic. This is tragic. But please don't turn her into a symbol. But please don't turn her into a symbol. She is not a metaphor. She is not a metaphor. Camping here. 
camping here is not a metaphor. It's, it's not, not a metaphor. It's not a philosophy. It's, it's not, not a philosophy. philosophy. It's being human. It's, it's being, being human. human. What we need, what what we need is to be human. It's to be human. We want the one percent. We want the one percent to become human again. To become, to become human again. To become human again. To become human again. To remain human. To remain human. When the Buddha, when the Buddha started assembling a community, started assembling a community, he told them to wear robes. He told them to wear robes and go and find robes and go and find robes out of discarded material. Out of discarded material. If the material had been eaten by rats. If the material had been eaten by rats. If the material had had menstruation touch it. If the material had had menstruation touch it. Or feces. If material had been thrown away. If material had been thrown away. You should take that material. You should take that material. And make robes out of it. And make robes out of it. Whether you like the Buddha. Whether you like the Buddha. Or not. This is a wonderful practice. This is a wonderful practice. To take what's discarded. To take what's discarded. And bring it into your heart. And bring it into your heart. When there's diversity. When there's diversity. We have to take parts of our community. We have to take parts of our community discarded because there are people because there are people who treat like garbage who treat like garbage there are parts of the ecosystem there are parts of the ecosystem that we treat like garbage that we treat like garbage there are parts of ourselves there are parts of ourselves that we treat like garbage that we treat like garbage we have to take these we have to take these pieces that we've compartmentalized that we've compartmentalized and bring them into this space and bring them into this space that's how imagination happens that's how imagination happens and that's how we'll win and that's how we'll win it's not philosophical it's not philosophical it's not ideological it's not ideological it's about showing it's about showing and demonstrating and demonstrating simple living Simple living. Interdependence. Interdependence. Knowing how to take care. Knowing how to take care. Of our anger. Of our anger. Not meeting anger. Not meeting anger. With anger. With anger. Is this possible? Is this possible? Showing it. We're showing it. The media. The Don't know how to report on this. Don't know how to report on this. Because the media need demands. Because the media need demands. And they need violence. And they need violence. And we won't give them. And we won't give them demands, demands or violence. Or violence. We won't give them demands. We won't give them demands because we're articulating a much bigger dream. Because we're articulating a much bigger dream. And we won't give them violence. And we won't give them violence because we're taking care of our anger. Because we're taking care of our anger. Those of you who live here. Those of you who live here. Support this. Those, Those of you who support this, this undertaking a major responsibility. Undertaking a major responsibility. To become peacemakers. To become peacemakers. Not this absurd term. Not this absurd term. Of peacekeeper. Of peacekeeper. But making peace. Making peace internally. Internally. And making peace. And and making peace. peace Externally. Externally. That's why. That's why. This is a spiritual movement. This is a spiritual movement. Creating a new kind of military. Creating a new kind of military. Making peace. Making peace. Simultaneous. Simultaneous. Peace. Inward and outward. Inward and outward. This is the future. This is the future. Of the military. Of the military. To make peace. Is to make peace in all directions. In all directions. That's what we're showing. That's what we're showing. We don't need to articulate that. We don't need to articulate that. In this. And demand. And demand. We need to show it. We need to show it. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. To talk about love. To talk about love. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. To talk about kindness. To talk about kindness. When we lose something. When we lose something. Someone we love. When we lose someone we love. When we finish an exhale. When we finish an exhale. We lose a paradigm. When we lose a paradigm. We're always so quick. We're always so quick to find a new lover. To find a new lover. A new paradigm. A new paradigm. It never works. It never works. Well, one night stand. Well, one night stand. Kind of fun. Kind of fun. But they don't last. They don't last. Because
Because we're too quick. Because we're too quick. And when we let go, and when we let go, and pull the brakes, and pull the brakes, we have to let there be space. We have to let there be space. And out of that space, and out of that space, we can articulate, we can articulate, and imagine, and imagine, and so the seed. And so the seeds of a different way of living. Of a different way of living. So don't feel under pressure. So don't feel under pressure. To figure out demand. To figure out demand. We need to enter the space. We need to enter the space. That's only achieved. That's only achieved when we pull the handbrake. When we pull the handbrake. And we show in our bodies. And show in our bodies. And we show in this camp. And we show in this camp that this movement. That this movement is organized. Is organized. It has structure. It has structure. You can have structure. You can have structure without hierarchy. Without hierarchy. You can have structure. You can have structure and creativity. And creativity without oppression. Without oppression. Without sexism. Without sexism. Without classism. This is what we're showing. And this is what we're showing. But it's painful. And what I worry about. And what I worry about. Is you'll leave here. Is we'll leave here. And you'll forget. And you'll forget that this movement transcends this park. That this movement transcends this park. Today. Today. Occupy. Occupy. 1980 cities. 1980 cities. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for listening. For listening to me. To me. I've been to many occupies. I've, I've been, been to many occupies. And everyone is different. And everyone is different. And they all have trouble. And, and they, they all have trouble. And they're all winning. And they're, they're all winning. Because they have trouble. Because they have trouble. And they're working it out. And they're working it out. That's really hard work. And it's really hard work. And it's the work worth doing. And it's the work worth doing. Thank you. Thank you. So if anybody wants to pipe up, it's perfectly fine with me while I'm still walking. You think you're all different. Every one of the occupied community thinks you're all different. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more? Can you tell a bit more? When do you want to do human mic or do you want me to talk? Human mic. Human mic. Mic check. Mic check. When you do a human mic, when you do a human mic, it's important to know. It's important to know. It doesn't mean you agree with me. It doesn't mean you agree with me. It's just a form of amplification. It's just a form of amplification. Okay. Uh, when Occupy started, when Occupy started, I went to Occupy Santa Fe. I went to Occupy Santa Fe because I was in New Mexico. Because I was in New Mexico, and it was very complicated. And it was very complicated because the Occupy protesters, because the Occupy protesters knew they could only achieve their vision. Knew they could only achieve their vision. They included the Pueblo community. If they included the Pueblo community, so I went with them to visit the Pueblo elders. So I went with them to visit the Pueblo elders, and the elders said, and the elders said. Movement? Movement? Where have you been? Where, Where have you been? <laughs> We've been fighting. We've been fighting. For water. For, for water. And health care. And health care. And, and uh, wellness for our children. And, and wellness for our children. Why did we join your movement? Why did we, we join, join your movement? movement? What about our movement? What, what about, about our movement? movement? So the movement decided. So the movement, movement decided. They had to stall. They had to stall. And start having a conversation. And start having a conversation. That they'd never had. That they never had. And that was really inspiring. And that, and that was really inspiring. It took ten days. It took ten days before anything new was organized. Before anything new was organized. Another example. Another example. Is in Montreal. Is in Montreal. Following on the heels of Wall Street. Following on the heels of Wall Street, they tried to make a rule. They tried to make a rule that there could be no drugs and alcohol. There could be no drugs and alcohol. Because if there's drugs, because if there's drugs, the police will come in. The police will come in and end the park. And end the park. But more importantly, but more importantly, if there's drugs and alcohol, if there's drugs and alcohol, when the weather gets cold, when the weather gets cold, you'll burn out. You'll burn out because your digestive system, because your digestive 
immune system. Immune system. Immune system. 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 Will collapse. The, the problem. The problem. In Montreal. In Montreal. And in Toronto. And in Toronto. Is that the park that's inhabited. Is that the park that's inhabited. By the movement. By the movement. Previously. Was previously. Inhabited. Inhabited. By many people. By many people. With drug and alcohol addiction. With drug and alcohol addiction. You can't just say. You can't just say. No drugs and alcohol. No drugs and alcohol. So we created two committees. So we created two committees for addiction, for addiction and wellness, and wellness to work together, to work together within the bounds, within the bounds of this square, of this square. Start to work with this problem. Start to work with this problem. Because if you make a rule, because if you make a rule, no drugs and alcohol, no drugs and alcohol, just create division. It just creates division. Because it's not serving. Because it's not serving. So one thing that I've learned. So one thing that I've learned is that in this movement, in this movement, you can't take the attitude that you need to fix things. You can't take the attitude that you need to fix things. Because when you see things as broken, when you see things as broken, and you try to fix them, and you try to fix them, you come ideologically into them. You come ideologically into them. So instead, if you try and serve, so instead if you try and serve, instead of fixing, instead of fixing, then you see things as whole. Then you see things as whole. So that's an example. So that's an example of what I've seen. Of what I've seen in dealing with trouble. In dealing with trouble. And the process. And the process. Of democracy. Of democracy. Is really slow. Is really slow. But it's faster. But it's faster. Than what happens? Than what happens? In hierarchy. In hierarchy. Because hierarchy seems faster. Because hierarchy seems faster. But in the end. But in the end. It's not inclusive. It's not inclusive. Yes. You have to speak up really loud. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. What did you suggest then? What, what, what is your suggestion? suggestion? Um, of what the next step could be. What the next step could be. For Occupy Vancouver. For Occupy Vancouver. Once they come in and remove the tents by force. Once, once they, they come in and remove the tents by force. <laughs> Nobody knows. Nobody knows where this is going. Where this is going. This Occupy movement. This Occupy movement is only beginning. It's only beginning. They can remove tarps. They can remove tarps. But we're not going anywhere. But we're not going anywhere. Today. Today. Many of my friends in Vancouver. Many of my friends in Vancouver. In Washington D.C. In Washington D.C. Surrounding the White House. Surrounding the White House. Trying to stop. Trying to stop the Keystone Pipeline. The Keystone Pipeline. That's part of this movement. That's part of this movement. So part of this movement. So part of this movement. Is digging in. Is digging in. And spreading out. And spreading out. Another piece of this movement. And another piece of this movement. How this spreads. Is how this spreads. In how we move. And how we move. The city. The city and social media. And social media. And so in a way And so in a way you can't stop this. You can't stop this. Even by force. Even by force. And we're seeing that in Oakland. And we're seeing that in Oakland. We're seeing that in Chicago. We're seeing that in Chicago. Was that the Brooklyn Bridge? Brooklyn Bridge. Seven hundred people were arrested. Seven hundred people were arrested. I was in New York. I was in New York. And they tried to kick the protesters out of the park. When they tried to kick the protesters out of the park. Nine hours later. Nine hours later. Two thousand New Yorkers. Two thousand New Yorkers showed up in the park. Showed up in the park. Cleaned up. And cleaned up. All of the reasons. All of the reasons why the mayor wants to shut this down. Why the mayor wants to shut this down can be solved. Can be solved very quickly. Very quickly. Today. Today. No problem. No problem. The mayor. The mayor can't shut this down. Can't shut this down. And his attitude. And his attitude. He can shut this down. But he can shut this down. Absurd. Is absurd. Because this is not a protest. Because this is not a protest. This is a movement. This is a movement. Much bigger than a protest. Much bigger than a protest. The reason why we're winning, and the reason why we're winning, because we're diverse. Because we're diverse. One thing, 
one thing about this movement. About this movement. It's not one thing. It's not one thing. So you can't shut it down. So you can't shut it down. It's not about a tarp. It's not about a tarp. It's not about an overdose. It's not about an overdose. It's about the reality. It's about the reality. That the way we're living. That the way we're living. Is not in line. It's not in line. With our deepest values. With our deepest values. And another reason. And another reason. This is a movement. Why this is a movement because we're articulating is because we're articulating a fundamental truth. A fundamental truth. This is the end. This is the end of the marriage of the marriage of a growth based economy of a growth based economy and a democracy. <laughs> so, somebody else. Yes. Where did you come from? Because it's definitely not Earth. You got some new <laughs> Mic check. <laughs> Where did you come from? Where did you come from? I descended from the star people. <laughs> I think it's important. I think, I think it's, it's important. important. We're very careful. We're, We're very careful. That our solutions, that our solutions are really practical. Are really practical. How can you get good food? How, How can you, you get, get good food? food? That's warm. That's warm. So in Toronto. So in Toronto. Someone's grandmother. Someone's grandmother. Have this idea. Have this idea. idea to serve to serve hot potatoes hot potatoes because when you eat them because when you eat them your hands stay warm your hands stay warm this is the most brilliant thing <laughs> this is the most brilliant thing <laughs> That's how this movement. So that's how this movement develops solutions. Yes. Develops solutions on the ground. On the ground. The body. The body. Not ideologically. Not ideologically. Not ideologically. We've had enough ideology. We've had enough ideology. For one century. For one century. I wrote a letter. I wrote a letter. That's going to be published on Monday. That's going to be published on Monday. In the Huffington Post. In the Huffington Post. And I've asked the Dalai Lama. And I've asked the Dalai Lama to sign the letter. To sign the letter. And he said yes. And he said yes. One thing he said. One thing he said about the letter. About the letter is that more war. Is that more war has been created? Has been created over religion. Over religion and real estate. And real estate. So it's really important to remember. So it's really important to remember that the heart. That the heart of this spiritual movement. Of the spiritual movement is not theological. Is not theological. Ideological. It's not ideological. It's about about cooking food. It's about cooking food. And guerrilla gardening. And guerrilla gardening. And having nights. And having nights where we can show films. Where we can show films. And bring young people. And bring young people. Get sleeping bags. And sleeping bags. Popcorn. And popcorn. And have a slumber party. And have a slumber party. When it starts snowing. When it starts snowing. That's how we affect change. That's how we affect change. So those are solutions. So those are solutions. <laughs> okay, one more. Yes. Uh, let's keep it to just questions and discussions for now, and then you can read the question. Yeah? Okay, okay. It's just hard to do a poem with a mic check. Yeah. And I just want to keep the mic check going. So can we, would it be a one? Yeah? Okay, let's hear one comment first, and then, yes, yeah. Are they using nonviolent communication um, in any of the other occupies? Do you mean formal nonviolent communication? Yes, uh, the Marshall Rosenberg, I believe it is. Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen. I haven't, I haven't seen, seen formal formal nonviolent communication. Nonviolent communication. But I think. But, but I, I think, think there are pieces of it. There are pieces of it happening. That are happening. And I think we could all learn. And I think that we could all learn nonviolent communication. From nonviolent communication. The most amazing thing. But the most amazing thing is that we're inventing it. Is that we're inventing it. All the principles. Through all the principles. Nonviolent communication. Nonviolent communication. Of the ethics. Of the ethics of nonviolent communication. Of nonviolent communication. Are being enacted. Which is knowing how you feel. Which is knowing how you feel. Articulating your needs. Articulating your needs. Listening. 
to how other people feel. Listening to how other people feel. Listening to their needs. Listening to their needs. And I think the first responsibility. And I think the first responsibility of digging in here. Of digging in here. Is realizing. Is realizing. There are lots of needs. There are lots of needs. And we have to serve those needs. And we have to serve those needs. And the best part about serving others. And the best part about serving others. Is more fun. Is more fun. Self-centered. Self-centered. Human happiness. Human happiness. It's an oxymoron. It's an oxymoron. Serving others. Serving others. Is fun. And it includes others. And it includes others. In the heart. In the heart. Of this spiritual practice. Of this spiritual practice. Of communication. Speaking of communication, I noticed that the human mic requires a lot of energy for people. Requires a lot of energy for people. Sometimes if people aren't uh, uh, in a good state and talking, they don't pick up energy. And sometimes if people aren't in a good space and talking, it brings the energy level of everybody down. It brings the energy level of everybody down. Do you have any ideas for us to evolve this mic checking process? I've seen two things in Vancouver. I've seen two things in Vancouver. But I want to be careful. But I want to be careful. Talking about it. Talking about it. I've only been here for two days. Because I've only been here for two days. Number one. Number one. When you're using the mic check. When you're using the mic check. Try and be constructive. Try and be constructive. Express how you feel. Express how you feel. Without imagining. Without imagining. What's going on. What's going on. Other people. For other, other people. people. That's number one. That's, That's number one. Number two. Number, number two. Is in the other occupy movement. Is in the other occupy movement. Not everything. Not everything. Is determined. Is determined. In the general assembly. In the general assembly. The committees. The committees. Need to be empowered. Need to be empowered. To really work on their own. To really work on their own. And when they get in. Sites, and when they get insights, to bring them to the General Assembly. To, to bring them to the General Assembly. The committees need a lot of power. The committees, committees need a lot of power. Because if you try and do everything, if you try and do everything in the General Assembly, in the General Assembly, you burn out. Woo! Okay, so I'm going to retire. I'm going to retire. And this lovely person would like to read a poem. And this lovely person would like to read a poem. Thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you so much for listening to me. Woo!